What's going on everybody, David here. Today I wanna to show you guys how to make quick thumbnails uh, for your YouTube videos with uh, using Premiere Pro. So, I have a video in my project window here and I just wanna show you quickly how I do it. So, it's just like when you're making, when you're creating a video, you wanna do title. So, if you click on the title button up here, you go down to new title, default still, and you can name this if you want and then you just click on here so now I if I left click it's gonna open up to where I can type and I have a variety of different um, fonts that I can use that are auto populated here with the shadows and everything already incorporated as well as colors and all that if I want to use those now I can also uh, so if I want to click just for example if I want to use this one I can use that one just click on it and type in the journey continues okay all right so I have that there so I can just do that now if I click on the arrow key what I love about uh, Adobe Premiere is I can just kind of drag this around so yes, I'm messing up the font dimension dimensions, but it still looks good when it comes out. And the reason that I like doing it this way is instead of just doing the typical enlarge, which you can do right here, just move it up and down just by using this uh, uh, lever here. I like to be able to control exactly if I need to squeeze it into a corner just so I can get it so it doesn't have my face in there. I like doing it that way. Then I can make it smaller and really tailor it to my needs for the video so if I want to do it like that that's perfect um, so that's one way to make the make the font so this is just a quick and easy you have the little fonts down here you can also make another font and let me show you this one click back on here now if I want to on this side here I have my fonts as well so the difference between these fonts and these fonts are these are already pretty much made up and you see they have the drop shadows and everything on them. this is just bare bones basic font so if I go and let's say let's go up to the top here and use a use Arial here so I have Arial there bold let's make it black and I click on here and just type in Journey continues. Okay, so just go ahead and type that. Same concept here. I can shrink it down and put it pretty much anywhere that I want. And so now I have these fonts. Now, if I want, which in this case I do have. Uh, shadow open so I have my shadows so you can see the shadows there I can get rid of the shadows if I want I can do different tweaks on on the font to get it to, to get it the way that I like it but that it, it's really really simple to do it this way and if you're in Premiere already you might as well just go ahead and, and make it that way so let's go ahead and delete one and I'm just gonna leave that up there and let's just add to it just to make it a legit here so since I'm using that font let's go back to that same font that I was using down here and we will say this is day one okay and like I said I can drag this and I, I love that feature just being able to drag it and kind of put it the way that I want it so down in the corner put day one and that's it so once you've done this all you need to do is exit. When you exit, it's gonna give you a little thumbnail here. So just grab that thumbnail and drag it into your timeline wherever you wanna put it. And in this case, this is where I wanna put it. And let's, let's open this up here so we can really see exactly what we're looking at here. Okay, so there it is. So now it's on here. So now, as far as thumbnails, how do you get that to work? There's a little camera button here on Premiere Pro. That little camera button will take a picture of the frame that you're in right here. It will also take a picture of everything that's 
that's over the frame. So I have the picture, or I have the title over the frame. Take a picture of it. You can name it if you want. Click OK. And now it's on my, on my desktop here. So that's it. There's my title. Quick and easy. If I'm already op if I already have Premiere open and I'm making a video, I can say, oh, you know what? I like that spot. And I can use that spot. Now another thing that you can do too is because sometimes you might not be able to get it to the exact frame where you where you want it. But you're let's say you're working up the video and you get to a point where you're like, oh I like you know, I like this sign here. Okay, well, you don't have to remember the keyframes exactly where it is. Or remember the frames exactly where it is you can just click to save it there and click OK and it just saved it so you have it so and if that's the situation you know oh you know what this is going to be my thumbnail pick then you just grab it drag it in there and then you can continue doing your video the way you want to do your video and then at the very end and now you have your thumbnail so I'll do that periodically when I'm editing videos I'll look through and I'll say oh this is a great thumbnail I'll uh, click to take a picture of it and just save it to my desktop and then later on I can pull it out and sometimes I'll have two or three different uh, thumbnails that I like and then I'll, I'll be able to, to uh, choose the one that I like the best alright so that's all I have for you guys today please give me a thumbs up if you like the video and please subscribe for more I'll talk to you later bye